Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So just recently, President Joe Biden signed in to act the Inflation Reduction Act that is obviously aimed at lowering the inflation because y'all know that inflation has been the highest it's been since the 1980s. And so within that act, he set aside over $5 billion to help farmers of America. And specifically, some money is set aside to help distressed borrowers and farmers that have uh, faced discrimination. Now, the old act, or well, still the act, I guess you could say, but it's called Emergency Relief for Farmers of Color Act. That was put into play in 2021, and it was uh, looked at as to help black farmers who had been discriminated against uh, the United States government, obviously USDA. And so that was supposed to right the wrong and it was going to give $4 billion in loan forgiveness to, now get this, black farmers thought it was them, but if you listen to what the bill is called, it has the word color in there. So emergency relief for farmers of color. Now we know that there is a lot of colors in the crayon box and black is one of them, but there's a whole bunch of other ones too. So it didn't say black farmers, it says farmers of color. And so now the black farmers are saying, wait a minute, now, now y'all backing off the promise that you gave us, you being the Biden administration, that y'all would help us because black farmers have been discriminated against since, well, forever, since, you know, Jim Crow even. Uh, even having their land taken and a whole bunch of other stuff. And so they're like, well, you kind of broke your promise to us. It should also be said that the uh, one, the farmer's bill that uh, addressed farmers of color saw lawsuits from white farmers. Like, wait a minute. Now we're discriminated against because now you're just giving this loan forgiveness to farmers of color. And they probably thought really black people. And so now the Biden administration is saying, all right, now we're gonna open it up to anybody who's been discriminated against and other distressed borrowers. And so, yeah, nothing's new there. They reneged on their promises to black people. And I think as black people, we really need to get it in our heads that the government is not really there to help black people. They only want black people to help them via going to the polls to vote, especially the Democrats, because they need black people to go into the polls and help them to get into offices. And they do like they always do. We're going to stand by you because you stood by us. And then when they get in there and get the pen and paper in their hand, you know, they say, okay, we're going to help everybody else. And then say, oh, black people, well, this includes you too. Now we know, historically speaking, anytime, you know, most of the time, black people try to go get a loan for this or loan forgiveness or whatever it is, whether it's a house or businesses, it's usually, well, we can't see that happening right now. And everybody else comes and they get the benefits of the loans and the loan forgiveness and things like that. And so I also want to leave with this. Y'all know Dr. Claude Anderson, and he talks about it a lot and that we should stop calling ourselves minorities and people of color, because as he says, women, uh, LGBTQ, and a whole bunch of other people, Asians now, they can be considered people of color or uh, minorities or marginalized people. And so I don't wanna say that's what we get for you know going along with being called minorities, but it should be a lesson in that, yeah, you're a minority, but everyone else is too. And they're probably going to get the benefits before black people do. Speaking of that, uh, affirmative action was supposed to help black people, but white women benefited from affirmative action the most. And so 
We should stop calling ourselves people of color, marginalized people, and the minority because as you can see, especially with this, how that's working out for us. And I would venture to say maybe a lot of those farmers did vote for Joe Biden. And so again, black people, we need to vote our interests and not what we uh, think we should be doing is voting, as Dr. Claude Anderson says, as a block for our own oppression. And y'all know who we've been voting for. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.